We're all from the beginning. From the beginning. Welcome. Welcome to all another <laughs> episode. Episode on racing course. Of racing to learn. Of racing to learn. Very good. Thank you for the introduction. All right. Welcome everybody. We are taking a look at a couple of Revos here. Uh, these what are Traxxas. Which Revo? These two are Revos, Elise. So we've got two Revos on our workbench today. One is um, a two point. Two oh, point. I forgot what it was called. Why am I blanking? Two point three. Two point three. Yeah. Anyways, this is the this is the earlier version of the Revo. Oh, look at what we have here. A little YouTube badge. All right. And on the left, we've got our longer wheelbase uh, Revo 3.3. And so you, you guys have seen our, our um, oh, t not 2.3, it's 2.5. Uh, this this Revo, we, we've got quite a, a few videos on. Um, you know, this is actually... Uh, was our original uh, foray, our first foray into the larger uh, four-wheel drive trucks. Um, but, you know, it was a little bit unmanageable because of the, the wheeling. Uh, once we converted this to brushless, this is actually the motor that we had in there. It's a Hobby Wing Quick Run 4074. Hmm? Where's my toys? Well, I don't know. Where, where did you, where'd you put it? It disappeared. Oh, right here. Right here. All right, so uh, this is just way too much motor for this truck, and um, you know we we had this in our uh, Arma Creighton for a while as well, um, and the Creighton is is uh, a much uh, a much better suited truck for this motor. It, this the uh, the high center of gravity chassis here, um, you know it's it's pretty raised up. Uh, just does not lend itself in the short wheelbase. This thing was just a wheeling machine. It was it was a lot of fun, but uh, we we pretty much destroyed um, our body, which was a really nice HPI Jeep body, um, probably our nicest looking body. We we uh, we just ended up destroying because this thing was just wheeling and flipping over all the time. So uh, we we actually picked up one of these, a Revo three point ooh, a three point three. Yeah, I just dropped it. We 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 picked this up um, off of Craigslist. Actually, if you guys have seen our our videos with the, uh, we we've got a couple of trucks with the 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 Proline Big Joes, the original Big Joes. Yeah, the, those uh, those wheels and tires actually came from this truck um, because we picked it up with a whole bunch of parts for eighty bucks off of Craigslist. Um, which is a ridiculously good deal, but it was a mess. It was, you know, it was basically a neglected RC here. Um, just a lot of grease from the nitro, uh, a lot of debris. Um, he, even looking at it here, you, you see that these arms are not assembled properly. This one is reversed. Uh, it should be flipped over. So. <laughs> Evidently, I do. Um, so, uh, we are, we're, what we're going to basically do is, um, we're going to, we're going to focus on this guy on the left, the, the Revo 3.3. Why do you say this guy? This guy, this truck. All right. Um, what we're going to do is, um, so we, we mocked up, uh, this, this battery plate. We're, we're going to put on, uh, we're probably going to use this, this, uh, this is the only piece we have left from our Arma Creighton because we sold it. Um, we're going to put this. Uh, battery holder on just to, to capture that battery more. Um, I'm gonna put this on over here, and uh, for the rest of the truck. Um, so we oh here's the here's the transmission. So we clean this all up. This is just totally grimy and a, a complete mess. Um, it's got a steel spur gear on it over here. Um, we actually I, I'm not a huge fan of the steel spur gear because it just um, it increases the wear on the, the pinion because you have metal on metal contact. Um, I'll probably stick with the plastic one that's on this truck, actually. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I think I, I haven't come up with a definitive plan for this yet, but uh, we're, we're definitely going to reuse uh, uh, some sort of motor in there. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with quick run because 
The plans for the batteries for this truck are probably going to be limited to 3S, maybe 4S. So uh, I'm thinking of even going with the uh, the W the Hobbywing WP SC8. Um, it's no longer being produced, but we've got one from our our T Max project. Might might try that in this truck here. Um, now this this transmission has thoroughly been gone through. Um, unfortunately, I didn't shoot a video on it, but we cleaned this all up. But we we have, uh huh. Oh, we have goggles, yeah. Uh, we did the forward-only conversion, so it's locked, right? Meaning um, it can spin in both directions. Uh, with the nitros, usually you have a one-way bearing in there, or you know, basically how you achieve reverse in a nitro. Uh, a nitro motor can, or an engine, any sort of combustion combustion engine can't spin backwards. It can only spin in one direction. So in order to uh, accommodate that like if you try to spin a combustion motor in the reverse direction like if you you know somehow are sliding down a hill or whatnot it's very bad for the motor or the engine and you'll probably damage it so uh, but in an electric you want you want that transmission to be locked so you can go in forward and reverse an electric oh okay yeah let's take care of that let me just finish this okay so um with uh you know with an electric motor if you want it to go in reverse you simply reverse the polarity um or rather in in a brushless you're gonna you're gonna reverse how those magnets are being energized or electromagnets are being energized so you want it to be locked um now you know it's it's a lot of extra moving parts in here that's that's why i i you know i i veer away from these um well i shouldn't say i veer away from them but it, you know, ideally you'd, you'd have a gearing setup like one that you would find in a modern electric uh, eighth scale buggy, like the Creighton, like the, like the, um, uh, what is it called? Um, like the, uh, the XXL3, where, you know, you, you, you really don't need this whole transmission. You pretty much just need a center differential and you can bolt the motor directly onto that. So it, it greatly cleans up the drivetrain. Um, and you know, less parts to break, more efficiency. There's, there's really no disadvantage. I don't know. Those aren't mine. Those aren't mine. For my shirt. Uh, so here's my little helper today. At least you want to say hi again to everybody. Hi, my name is Elise. Mhm. Mm Do you want to come over here? I'm gonna see everyone. Okay. Well, somebody didn't take a nap today. Uh, their hair is a mess, and uh, so they're helping me shoot some videos. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.